Hello there and welcome to a little bit of an Apple tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to actually connect your Apple Pro speakers to your latest MacBook Pro. So I'm running on macOS Sierra. Now if you do have the latest, latest MacBook Pro, uh, you will have to get the adapter to USB, just regular USB. So I have my speakers hooked up to my cinema display, uh, which is connected to my laptop through Thunderbolt. And you will notice that it will come up in the system that they are connected as USB speakers. However, when you try to play music through them, nothing comes out. Now, the reason for this is because Apple, ever since macOS Snow Leopard, have changed their audio settings. So you actually have to install a program to unmute the speakers. For a long time, people were like soldering, resoldering their Power Mac G4 speakers to just to work with their computer. Don't do that. That's completely gonna mess them up. You wanna keep it completely original. You just wanna plug them in and change the software to unmute them. Now, I've got two links in the description. I've got the original source where you can download this or you can download it from a Dropbox I created just in case that link goes invalid. You wanna unzip the Trinity enabler and you wanna to go to the readme.rtf file. Now, when you're in the readme.rtf file, you wanna copy the part where it's got the dash dash power dash 500. So you wanna just do a command C there. Once you've unzipped your Trinity enabler file, you wanna open up terminal. Once you've opened up terminal, all you need to do is drag the Trinity enabler over into terminal. And then what you want to do is do a command V and paste that dash dash power dash 500 and then just hit enter and what's going to do is it's going to say your speakers are enabled and that's it that's how easy it is no soldering no changing anything no opening it's that's it it's done now this is step two if you want to do it the speakers as they are will work with your system they'll work perfectly fine they'll be more than decent enough quality however they're actually rated for a higher power output now, what we've just done here has limited the speakers to what the MacBook can handle as an output. If you want to make them full power, like they would be on an iMac G4, or sorry, a Power Mac G4, you're gonna have to go and buy a USB separate hub. I would highly recommend if you're gonna go for one of these, definitely look for one that has a four amp output. Uh, I will link this in the description. Now, if you do get the little USB hub that's got the four amp output, at least, uh, you can actually, instead of putting the dash dash power 500, you can put dash dash power dash 1500. So basically 500 is 2.5 volts of power coming out for your uh, MacBook per USB port. 1500 is, well, it's obviously it's three times as much. So you want to do this on something that is its own power supply that's not connected, that's not in your Mac because you're going to fry the USB port. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.